Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 engaging questions about the Holy Bible. Subscribe and like to support us. Share your score in the comments. Join our channel to access exclusive content and support our mission. Let's start the quiz. Question 1. What did Jesus predict would happen to Peter before the rooster crowed? A. He would walk on water. B. He would deny Jesus three times. C. He would catch a large number of fish. D. He would preach to the Gentiles. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 34. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Question 2. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah and announced, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world? A. Peter B. John the Baptist C. Matthew D. Lazarus Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 29. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Question 3. Who was the chief tax collector who climbed a sycamore tree to see Jesus? A. Nicodemus B. Zacchaeus C. Matthew D. Simon Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And, behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before, and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 2 to 4. Question 4. Why did Abraham pay 400 shekels of silver to Ephron the Hittite? A. To purchase a burial ground for Sarah. B. To buy livestock for his large herds. C. To build an altar to the Lord. D. To settle a legal dispute. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron. And Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. Book of Genesis, chapter 23, verse 16. Question 5. Who was instrumental in confirming to Mary the blessedness of the child she would bear? A. John B. Simeon C. Elizabeth D. Anna Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 42. Question 6. What did Jesus say to Martha about the resurrection of Lazarus? A. He will rest in peace. B. He will rise again. C. He will ascend to heaven. D. He will be healed. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 23. Question 7. Who rebuked Peter when he refused to eat with the Gentiles in Antioch? A. James. B. Paul. C. Barnabas. D. John. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles. But when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Jews dissembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, if thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? Epistle of Paul to the Galatians, chapter 2, verse 11 to 14. Question 8. According to the Gospel of John, what miraculous sign did Jesus perform at the pool of Bethesda? A. He turned water into wine. B. He multiplied loaves and fishes. C. He healed a man who had been invalid for 38 years. D. He walked on water. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Gospel of John, chapter 5, verses 5 to 9. Question 9. What was the first plague that Moses brought upon Egypt? A. Frogs. B. Water turned to blood. C. Locusts. D. Darkness. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Thus saith the Lord, In this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. 
Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. Book Exodus, chapter 7, verse 17. Question 10. What question did Jesus ask the man at the pool of Bethesda who had an infirmity for 38 years? A. Wilt thou be made whole? B. Why are you here? C. Who brought you here? D. What is your name? Time to think. The right answer is letter A. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 6. Question 11. What did Mordecai do when he discovered a plot to assassinate King Ahasuerus? A. He ignored it. B. He informed the king through Esther. C. He joined the plot. D. He fled the city. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen. And Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore they were both hanged on a tree. And it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. Book of Esther, chapter 2, verses 22 and 23. Question 12. Who was the first convert in Europe through Paul's ministry? A. Priscilla B. Lydia C. Phoebe D. Dorcas Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 14. Question 13. What did King David request from Abiathar the priest when he was fleeing from Saul? A. The Ark of the Covenant. B. The Urim and Thummim. C. The Sword of Goliath. D. The Ephod. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. And David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abiathar brought thither the ephod to David. First book of Samuel, chapter 30, verse 7. Question 14. What did God say to Moses regarding the identity he should proclaim to the children of Israel? A. I am the Lord of hosts. B. I am the God of Abraham. C. I am that I am. D. I will be what I will be. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 
And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. Book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 14. Question 15. Upon whom did the Spirit of God descend like a dove during baptism? A. John the Baptist B. Peter C. Jesus D. Paul Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 16. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.